NBA 2K25 is upon thee. It's time to get to that grind. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how not to ruin your bill in NBA 2K25. I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple things to look out for, a couple things that 2K has integrated into the game to help you out with your builds, and also some other tools that you can use to make the best build possible. Now, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, man. So, if you're somebody who struggles to make bills or you're brand new to the game and you know, creating your own build may seem a little bit intimidating, or you just may not know what you're doing and how to work the builder, or you may not know all of the ins and outs of the builder 2k has two options here for you man if you're somebody who likes to play with your favorite nba player or anything like that then you can come over to this section and you can use the nba builds man it's like 40 different nba players that they have added in here you can play with a build that's similar to your favorite player and you also get signature animations with that build so if this is the route that you want to take you can do that you can come in here and you can check out all of the different builds that they have over here pick your position you know pick the player and then you hit finish now if you customize the nba build you do not get the signature animation so you do have to use it as is but if you are somebody looking to model your player after a certain nba star then you know you can come in here and select your player say you wanted to model your player after luca and you hit customize build it gives you a template as a baseline so you can get a good idea of what the attribute spread would look like now going back if you don't want to model your player after a specific nba player they have another section right here called pro tune builds and this is something similar to the nba builds but these are pro tune builds so these are different build templates by pros and some of the devs over at 2k they got some different builds in here for you they also come with signature animations the same thing with the nba builds i'm sure if you start customizing it then you will not be able to use those signature animations that come with it so you will have to use it as is but when you come in here you can pick the position that you're wanting to play so let's say you want to go with shooting guard pick your best skill so let's say you want to play shooting guard and you know you're good at outside scoring and then you can pick your archetype so so as you change this, it'll change the different types of badges that you have and let me move my camera out the way so as you change this you can see the go-to badges they will change and it'll give you the top attributes there at the top right of that specific archetype so you know you can scroll through these and you can see you got your physicals down there in the stature section so you can see you know the height weight wingspan and then you can also see in the inspired by section what player that it was inspired by so you can go through these and pick some different builds man you can choose what archetype name you want so if you're looking for a specific name you can do that as well but it just gives people the option you know who may not be as experienced in creating builds or you know may not make the best builds an option to make some more competitive builds on the game because there have been a lot of instances where people have had to start over builds or you know people may not make that good of a build so you know 2k is trying to help everybody have some pretty decent builds out there to play against everybody if you're inexperienced with the builder and creating builds on nba 2k or somebody that's new to the game 2k wants you to have that confidence and have some options to choose from man with the pro tune builds there are 74 different templates and they will be releasing more also they have the description right there for you so it tells you exactly what the purposes of the build are and then they also have a detailed view for you to look at so you can see the exact breakdown of the build and see what the attribute layout is all right, so another useful tool that you can use is NBA 2K Lab, man. If you don't know what NBA 2K Lab is, it's a site that you can come to that gives you all the information that you need to know about 2K, man. It's a very useful tool. It's free. They also have paid services as well for jump shots and other things if you want to get into that. But their free stuff has more than enough information for you to make a very good build. So as you can see, they have different sections. They have animation requirements. You can come in and you can look at all the requirements that you need so if it's something specific you want your build to have then you can come to nba2klab.com and you can use that you got the dunking and your layup requirements you can scroll through they have your driving dunk driving layup standing dunk and your vertical requirements they got it all laid out here for you man all the animations layups signature dunks all the other dunk packages including contact dunks alley-oops and everything 
they got dribble requirements all of that listed for you what attributes you need what height you have to be in order to get those animations and they also have shooting requirements along with that man they got badge requirements here's your shooting badges on the left playmaking finishing defense rebounding so they have everything broken down for you man badge tiers they have that they have takeover requirements they have your max heights for your badges certain badges you can only get at certain heights so they have all of this information here for you man for free so when you make your bill come to nba2klab.com and make sure you are getting everything it is that you want your bill to be able to do now the last and final tip that i have for you guys to not ruin your bill is when you get into the builder make sure you have an idea of what it is that you want to go for and what badges that you want to get because this year we have something called cap breakers if you don't know what cap breakers are you can watch my cap breaker video where i did a complete breakdown but essentially cap breakers allow you to increase your attributes past what you set them in in the builder but you know it has to stay within your max potential that is set in that screen where you adjust your height weight and wingspan with the cap breakers we get 15 cap breakers and you unlock them in the rep system in the rep system they are unlocked at starter three vet two and legend one so it's going to be a hard grind to get all 15 of your cap breakers so you want to keep that in mind when you make your build and realistically think about how far you're going to make it in the rep system so you know you can account for those cap breakers when you make your build that's going to be extremely important and you also want to make sure you have another tool like nba 2k labs to know what those animation requirements are so you can make sure your bill has every single attribute that you need to go alongside with your cap breaker so that way if you're trying to shoot for a certain badge in the future when you upgrade your cap breaker you need to make sure you meet all the other requirements for it so you're not wasting your cap breakers i hope all of that makes sense if you got any questions or anything feel free to leave them down in the comment section like I mentioned, you could watch the cap breaker breakdown video if you need any more additional information on cap breakers and what all they do. And I hope you guys can take all this information and make a dope build for NBA 2K25. As always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel down below. Make sure you got post notifications turned on because I got some bangers on the way, man. Be on the lookout. I got a video dropping with the easiest Gatorade workouts for you to complete in the city because this year stamina is no longer in the builder. You have to go do your Gatorade workouts to get your stamina so i will be dropping the easiest workouts for you guys to complete each week so be on the lookout for that also got the build videos coming man i just made a dope two-way three-level shot creator build today man so i will be dropping that tomorrow also be on the lookout and make sure you got those post notifications turned on last but not least man be sure to stay blessed out here be safe and i will catch you guys in the next one peace